Yes. Quite. Indeed. What model is that? It's an 870, you know. Ah, oh, very good. Mm. Mm. Lovely weather outside. Hot as butt, though. Mm. Ah, true. Mm. Perfect day to sit inside by the fire in the twilight. Yes. I got a letter the other day. Ah, uh, from who? You know, it was from Vincent from Sons of Guns. Vincent from Sons of Guns. How peculiar. It was indeed peculiar. Mm. What did he have to say? Anything interesting? Indeed. Mm. Indeed. More champagne? Don't mind if I do. Cheers, good sir. <laughs> Got it. What's up guys, it's John and I'm Don. Yeah, you guys remember him from the last video we did about reality TV gun shows sucking. And uh, we want to say thank you for the huge response. A lot of people really enjoyed that video, really had uh, some good insight and opinions. Some of you really agreed with what we had to say. <laughs> anyway, the point of this video is that while most of you agreed with what we had to say, because uh, we're right. Yeah, because we're awesome and we're right. Uh, there was one person that actually contacted me that really surprised me. Vince from Sons of Guns. Sons of Guns. He actually sent me a message to the Facebook page and was like, kind of giving me some insight into how things operate on the set and where I was incorrect. And the main thing he honed in on, uh, Don actually read it as well. Yeah. The main thing he pointed out was that there was never any unsafe gun handling on set while he was there. Uh, you know, obviously he can't speak for when he wasn't there or something like that. He made it a point to mention that every time they went out to shoot, there was a safety brief and uh, everybody was on the same page about that. And they were very safety minded and concerned. And that he also mentioned that there was no, uh, no one in front of a, a muzzle or anything like that, like we had pretty much assumed because of what we saw on TV. Yeah, and that's all we can base our opinions off of is the way that the show presented it to us. And it looked as though manned cameras were coming in front of loaded guns, and that's just not cool. It really does look like that. And, yeah, yeah I guess that's kind of what they, they want. That's the goal they're going for. But Also, we really got to say thanks to Vince. He was really, really cool when he contacted us. Yeah. He was definitely. totally laid back about it. He wasn't a d at all, so yeah. I mean, that was pretty awesome, right? That's 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 the way to be. Yeah. That's definitely the way to be. If you're gonna work in TV and you don't get a big head about it, that's that's pretty cool. Yeah. So thanks, Vince. Uh, we, we genuinely appreciate you being cool and not like attacking us for uh, you know just what we had to just say. Saying our opinions. Yeah. You got your opinions, we got ours. Thanks for being a, a cool guy about it, not a yeah. Definitely a class act. Like, as a whole, the shows are still pretty terrible. Yeah. And what we want you guys to take away from this video is not only this uh, super serious thing that we're about to present to you, but that you need to take all of these things and form your own opinion, yeah. obviously. It's really easy to just jump on the bandwagon and go, ah, and go with pitchforks and flaming torches and just bash down the Discovery Channel doors, but that's not always the way to go about it. But I think we should do that because something needs to be done. And what we have done, we've actually taken it upon ourselves yeah. to put into writing a concrete declaration. And this is very, very, very serious, you guys. Very serious. Super duper serious. A declaration of shenanigans. And now for your listening pleasure, we're gonna read our declaration of shenanigans. Just to show you, uh, let me move my paperweight. <laughs> This is the Declaration of Shenanigans. It says so up top. We really typed this out. Yeah. And we're about in, to read it's it. It's in old English text. So yeah, so we, it's we're, ultra it's not, serious. It's not bullshit. It's right. the real deal. This is real. Declaration of Shenanigans. When in the course of TV gun shows, it becomes necessary for John and Don to dissolve the bullshit which has forced them to declare shenanigans upon ye old untruths portrayed in the realm of Yon Discovery Channel. We the people of sound mind and body with way huge ye old dongshires 
hereby declare that Sons of Guns and American Guns are full of falsitudes and incorrectories, so much so that they have cast a most displeasing spell of yon disappointment and fibbery, which leads an otherwise blissful public down ye path of misinformation. The actions in which have caused yon declaration have forced John and Don to take a break from engaging numerous wenches of the hot dog down hallway variety. Those who possess huge yield dongshires are indebted to society for the purpose of slaying yon wenches in droves, as well as call bull as they see fit. Upon arrival at yield gun range, thou shalt not shoot like only five rounds or rig explosions to be detonated remotely, never having been impacted by yon demonstration weapons. In addition, the gentleman who has been so aptly named Sir Angry Fat of Awfulshire weighs in comparison to that of at least three spring oxen swollen with acres of yon drainage for harvest in preparation of a feast, the likes of which have not been seen by mortal man, is still way angry and fat. In addition again, Way Hoddington daughters with way awesome buvage are merely presented for spectacle. They provide no additional firearms knowledge and are there strictly to bounce around. Casts of both Sons of Guns and American Guns are subpar actors by even elementary school standards. The producers are not safe from this declarations of shenanigans either. For the crimes against humanity, of constant dipshittery forced upon an uninteresting group of people in efforts to make them seem cool to an uninformed public. In summation, a declaration of shenanigans is imposed on the aforementioned by the beforementioned. Thank you and good day. Signed, Archduke Baron von Chaos and Lord Earl Don of Bonershire. So there you have it guys, the declaration of shenanigans. If you're on board, go ahead and leave a comment. If you think we're idiots, go ahead and leave a comment. If Wait, you enjoyed it, give, give it the, the old like, thumbs give up. Give it the thumbs up. <laughs> and if you think we're idiots, then we probably are. <laughs> we think we are. As a matter of fact, we know we are. We are definitely idiots, but, but we had a lot of fun. Of course, if you haven't yet, subscribe for more ridiculous stuff on the horizon. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>